and I am currently one of Punxsutawney Phil's co-handlers. There are two of us that handle that job, uh, which is an everyday job. So Groundhog Day for me is every day of the year. It's not just February 2nd. We uh, take care of not only Phil, but also some cousins that he has living in the zoo, uh, and along with Phil's wife, Phyllis. He has cousins Barney and Stinky, and uh, they all live in the zoo, so they all take a, a good deal of care. Uh, you know, some of it's easy when feeding time. They're uh, they're not uh, they're not too finicky or anything like that. They pretty much eat whatever we give them. Okay, the imitations of Punxsutawney Phil. I guess uh, sure when somebody sees that something is very successful, they they want to proceed to try to gain the same success. And so Punxsutawney Phil has been uh, copied by many little towns, and, and it's fine. I mean, uh, every little town needs something to, to pull the people together and have fun, and we have no problem with that. But we, we do know that there's only one true weather predicting groundhog, and, and of course everyone knows that there's only one groundhog who has a, a major Hollywood motion picture made about him, and that of course is Punxsutawney Phil. So until one of the other uh, groundhogs, whether it's Buckeye Chuck or, uh, or General Beauregard down in Atlanta or, or Staten Island Chuck or whatever his name is in New York City, until they have their own movie, uh, I don't think they can come anywhere near the, the claim to fame that Punxsutawney Phil has.